Welcome back to another episode of the Theater Professor Vidcast. My name is Terry Danage of Kimiak II, and I am the Theater Professor. This week we're continuing our series on Paint Storm Studio. Dun 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 dun! I'm feeling pretty good. It is a beautiful, beautiful morning outside, gorgeous weather while I'm recording this, and I feel so happy to be able to do this for you guys. First off, like always, I want to thank all those that support me, whether it's through being a patron member on my website, having taken one of my classes from www.thetheaterprofessor.com, or you've just donated on Patreon. You guys are what makes this possible, allows me to create these videos so that I can share with you all these wonderful art programs and iPad programs out there available to us. If you're not already a member of the website, go to www.thetheaterprofessor.com and sign up. You sign up for the free membership, artist membership, check out our forums, share your work, that's what we're here for. It is a community, that is what I view us, and I hope uh, those that watch this view that as well. This week, we're going to get down and dirty into the different brushes that are available. We're not going to go into how to adjust the brushes yet. That is for a future future, uh, vidcast. But I do want to look at everything that is available that comes with the program initially. Now, if you haven't already, there is a trial version. All you have to do is stop over at paintstormstudio.com or something similar to that. I've been to the website a couple of times. Do a Google search. Search it on the Google web. And we'll find out, and you can download the trial, and you can kind of play along with us. Now, so we're looking at we're looking at this one here, brushes, and we're looking at all the different possible choices that you can make here. And so we've got this one. This one looks like a you know a Fitch, a regular paintbrush. The next one looks like a pencil. Next one looks like an ink pen. Then we've got a flat brush, a feather brush, a roller. This is. We'll look at it soon enough. Here you have some blenders. This is all blendy. Erasers. This is light-related items. This is textured brushes. And then we have fun, wacky, wild Kool-Aid-style brushes. We're going to start at the top. We're going to start with, actually, pencils, because I use that fairly often. So I'm going to grab a color, kind of a brownish color. And you'll see these are labeled pencil, pencil textured pencil hard, pencil grain, gradient marker, pressure gradient. So if we look at the first one, pencil texture, now we're not zoomed in that much and I'm not big enough. I'm going to give you a shortcut key here real quick. If you use alt control and hold those two buttons down, you can then move left and right to increase and decrease the size. Uh, Use your stylus. I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro. You move left and right, it increases and decreases the size of your pencil. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit so we can see so this, you know, I would never use this at the, as a size, but you can see the texture on the pencil texture. And this is, of course, pressure sensitive. So I go light, I go dark, okay? The second one is pencil hard. Again, this is what it looks like laid down. Let's get this big so we can see. And you can see it's a little smoother, not as much texture when I actually press down. On the, on the light version, I'm going to decrease a little bit you'll see it's got similar texture but then when I press full force you can see the difference as compared to the pencil textured one next up we have pencil grain we can see it over here and already you can see it's grainy increase the size a lot of grain going on there right kind of cool next up we have a gradient marker Let's get that bigger, not that big. And you can build up. It's like having uh, it's like having markers in your in your you know in the natural world. You can build up layers. And then we have a pressure gradient. This is what it looks like. So when I'm not pressing hard, light, it's not the opacity that's changed, but the thickness. But then when I press hard, it's thicker. So that's the that's different. So everything else we've looked at has been opacity changes with pressure. This is size change with pressure. Okay. So these are the all the pencil ones. Now I'm gonna one of the things this does not have is you can't clear a layer like Art Rage. For those that have watched my Art Rage videos, I love being able to clear my layer. So instead, I have to add a new layer and get rid of the previous layer. It's kind of annoying. 
All right, next up, we're gonna jump back up now. We're gonna jump up to the, what I view as kind of the paintbrush tool, the Fitch. For those of you that don't do art, Fitches are the, you know, what you imagine an acrylic or an oil painter using. It's what I use in the theater when I'm doing detail work. So you can see there's a variety here. We're gonna start with the first brush. Now notice that my circle is ahead of it. It's because this has got in the settings a smoothing setup. And then when I pick up, you see it that it ends it. So we're pointed at both ends. So if I come boom and then lift, it points to both ends. So that's gonna be in our brush settings. We're gonna go over that soon enough. This is one of my favorite. This is, it's called draw blend opacity. And you can see this is light. I can press hard, I get a nice dark, and then you can blend into it. I really, really, really like this brush. This is one of my favorites for doing my shadows and highlights. So when you're creating an image, I like to do it, uh, I like to do underpainting a lot. So what I will do is I'll draw out my, sketch out my image, and then I will highlight in shadow using this, and then use my coloring paint over top of it. We'll get into that later on. There's a second one here called Draw Blend. This one, though, is a little different. So if you can see, when I do this one, when I lay down my first layer and lay down my second one, there is a, a the opacity. You can, uh, the pressure, when, when I press down harder, no opacity, but then when I'm light, there isn't a, there, it's translucent. You can see through it, right? This one, though, doesn't do that. If I press hard, you still get the dark, but if I do light, it goes over top of it. There's no opacity in here. So it's a little different. Uh, you got to kind of play with it. It's a little more, uh, what I would call it is textured, textured, right? So because you're, you're going over top of, you're not, you're not having this blendy opacity type feel to it. It's like you've got the raw paint raw paint of awesome all right let me clear this layer which i can't do so i have to add a layer and then delete a layer next up we have simple extend hmm i don't see much of a okay so it's not translucent as you can see there it's not a bad you know i might use it it's okay. It's not my favorite. Undo. Oh, that's no. Where's my undo? There we go. Whoops. Oh, look at that. how many undos do we get? Oh, that's a lot of undos. It just stopped right there. So that's actually a decent amount of undos that are available. Next up, we have classic transparency, and it's uh, this is kind of like a marker. Okay, it's not blending really nice, but it gives you that transparency. I'm gonna go big for you. Okay, so if you look at the difference between that and our draw blend opacity, notice how our draw blend also blends together, even if it's even though it's translucent. So it's a little different. Okay, uh, the classic transparency is much closer to a marker feel. Next up, we have simple soft. Oh, it's got a fuzzy outline. It's fuzzy. Oh, kind of like a um, airbrush. Airbrush. That's what I'd call this. Airbrushy. Airbrush of awesome. Next up, we have sketch brush. I need a new layer. Let's see. So uh, my assumption is for sketching out your drawings instead of a pencil, you could use this, I suppose. Uh, let's make it bigger and look. Yeah, it's not bad. Little curvy ends. Eh, it's not bad. Not bad. I said not bad. Let's undo all this. Millions of undos. Next up, we have. There's a couple demo brushes. Whoa! Okay, that's way too cool. I'm going to end up playing with these all day. Here's another demo. And this is all in these settings over here that we're going to look at 
later on. Probably next week. This will probably be my next week's. Oh, that's just... It's like liquor... Not licorice. Um, uh, Twizzler. Okay. So these, are, these, again, all fall in the paintbrush section. We've done pencil. Let's jump to the pen. What do we got in the pen? We've got lots of pens. First off, calligraphy simple. I'm horrible at cal calligraphy, but we'll, we'll try to do my name. Oh, God, I'm atrocious. Next up, we have calligraphy one, which is a little different. I definitely look a little better that time. Simple ink. So let's get down to a more dark, more dark. Oh, it's not bad for an inking pen. If you're inking comics or inking a drawing, that's actually not bad at all. Next up, we have calligraphy textured. Oh, that's cool looking. I'm going to undo all of this. What do we got next? We got after one. Okay, so what happens here is you know, I draw, and then when I lift up, it points my two ends. Boom. Okay, so you could come, you could do this nice and slow. See how slow I'm going? And then lift, and my two ends get pointy. After two, it looks like we'll only pointy one end and fade the other end, okay? All right, after three, continues in this vein. And then after hair, oh man, look how nice that is for creating hair. I gotta do I gotta do some long hair. Let me come over here. Oh my gosh. I am definitely gonna be playing with this. You lay that over top of, for example, a base color. This could be really nice. Definitely playing with that. Now we have a transition one. I don't even know what this is for. That just <laughs> that's fun I guess let's get rid of all my hair next up we have transition grass this is cool for making grass wow that let's why don't we switch to a color that's actually apropos Oh, that is nice. So transition grass, and then we could, you know, we could come up here and then maybe add a little bit of over the top of it, and then maybe go really. Oh, look at that. Okay, that is that is really nice. What do we got next? We got next on this list of awesome. We have transition leaf. Oh, so this. I need to go darker. Oops. We need to go in the same direction. Okay, so this is what this brush engine that he's created can do. After flower. I'm not sure. Oh, oh my gosh. I've just put flowers in my grass. Look at that. Uh, a trend another transition leaf okay next up oh I just got an email now we have after tree trunk um yeah I don't know I'd have to play with it after hot spot oh that's nice after flower so more flowers oh and the oh and it's got leaves built in Okay, another after flower. Another after flower. More after flowers. A simple after. Oh, that's interesting. And then we finish off. Oh, this is one I was trying to play with and create a brush. That's just me. Okay, so this is... 
what he's built into this for if you're doing any type of greenery is really quite nice and i bet i bet with further playing we could probably create our own uh our own greenery uh pieces in here all right so that's it for this week we went over three just real quick looks at uh the brush what i call the fitch the pencil and the pen tools all of them can do a ton of things next week we're going to look at the flat brush the feather brush and both of those are very big so we will probably only get to those two remember this is paint storm studio you can go online at i, I think it's paintstormstudio.com and you can download the free trial if you haven't already to test it out and you can you can create all these cool little things play with it and if it's something you like it's very cheap it's only 20 bucks right now again i don't i'm not getting anything from this i am advertising this for free so paint storm studio enjoy that um, now understand it's not the perfect program. It is definitely not the perfect program. There are problems with it But what I'm starting to learn is I'm uh, there are some things that I'm really enjoying All right, my name is Terry Dana Jakimiak the second and I am the theater professor